talk about the redesigned user interface. We're going to talk about film scoring features, enhanced support for Pro Tools HD hardware, track comping, new audio file format support, plug-in management, pre-rendering for virtual instruments. This is a big deal. Direct audio CD burning, and we've got a couple of new plugins shipping with DP. I'm going to show you all this. We'll start off with the redesigned user interface. There we go. There it is. Here is DP6. It's streamlined the look of the windows. Just made them a little simpler to, to look at, to work with. Still got your drop down menus. Check it out. I'm inside the uh, consolidated window. I can set up the interface of the program to work the way that I like. I've got window tabs. These are what's called inspector palettes event information, snapping information cursor information. Now this is the tracks overview window and uh, everything that is in DP6 is there because of user requests. Something that people have been asking us for is the ability to resize the tracks window vertically so we can do that. Make those tracks as small as you want. Actually, maybe you want them large. Make them as large as you want. How's that? So vertical zooming of the tracks overview window. It's actually be handy to be able to really shrink it down. If you've got a very large project see all of your tracks at a glance. Take a quick look at the mixing board, sequence editor, and you'll notice that uh, we've uh, got a new look to the audio files, uh, new color coding of, of the audio files. And this is the new user interface for DP6. Vertical resizable tracks overview window, streamlined window design, window tabs, Unified zooming and navigation. The zoom buttons are in the same place in every every edit window. The program works with consistency. Inspector palettes and an enhanced waveform display with color coding. Redesigned user interface. Let's talk about some film scoring features. We're going to talk about something called XML Session Interchange with Final Cut Pro. What am I talking about here? Well, here we've got a, uh, a movie. We'll watch a little bit of this. video puts together a quick time movie and sends it to the composer. The composer loads it into digital performer and builds the score around the video. And that's what you're looking at here. This is the, uh, the soundtrack for that commercial. So we're all done, right? No, the director calls up and says, ah, last minute changes to the video. We had to uh, take a few frames out here and add a few frames in there. We've done some editing to the video and you're going to need to re-edit your music to fit the changes inside the video. And you're saying, uh oh, well, how am I going to do that? The director says, don't worry, I'm going to send you a new cut of the film. Yeah, but where are the changes? The director says, don't worry about that. I'm working in Final Cut, and I'm going to send you over an XML file. So we go up here, and we see Import and Export XML file. And you have those same commands in Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro can import and export an XML file. The XML file has all of the changes that were made inside the, uh, the sequence since, since the last time uh, you checked in. So here's the changes that the director had made. It tells us specifically what was done in the Final Cut Pro project, and those changes are highlighted in the sequence. Right? I see that the director has cut out the header. Well, that's not a problem. There's no music going on there. But right in this section, the director has gone in and cut out a section, and it shows me where that cut is. Now, if I make a change inside Digital Performer, I can export an XML file from Digital Performer, send that to the director, and then he sees all the changes that I've made in, in my, my score. And so I can go back and forth between the two programs. If I'm running Final Cut and Digital Performer at the same time on the same computer, I don't even need to do the import and export of the XML file. The two programs just talk to each other directly. Make a change in Final Cut, that change publishes to Digital Performer. Make a change in DP, and that change publishes to Final Cut. So that's the XML session interchange. We've also introduced new frame rate support, 23.976, 30 drop frame. 
and uh, Digital Performer could play a quick time movie. It could send it out of the firewire output of, of the computer to be watched on a dedicated NTSC monitor. Digital Performer can also generate streamers, punches, flutters, video clicks. These are visual overlays. And now all of that extra information, that overlay information, could also be sent out through the firewire output. So some enhancements for you people that do uh, film scoring inside Digital Performer.